happy with my soccer field layout and I'm ready to start measuring uh, using the measure it, which is how I dimensioned here. One thing I noticed is I was originally just using one vertex for the, I don't know what you call that point right there, but the middle of the goalie box point, one vertex for this center field mark and one vertex over here. When I went into, which was fine in edit mode because vertexes show up as dots, but I wanted to dimension in object mode because I I was trying to do it in edit mode, but I ended up dragging some vertices by accident. If you're in object mode, you can't move vertices. But in object mode, a single vertex does not show up. So you would not see this right here. And let me go to edit mode. So what I actually did is I created a super small circle here just, uh, and there was no dimension of it in the original drawing. So you can make it as well, make it a reasonable size. I think I, I don't know what I chose, but if you look in object, object mode, it's pretty close. I think mine's a little smaller than what it is on this marker, but, or on this drawing, but it's pretty close. Uh, I think I left the center in because when I go to dimension, I'm going to need that center vertex, even though I can't see it. All right. So how to use measure it, make sure that you have measure, measure it clicked. Now for me, it's a little bit tricky to just start dragging from over there. It doesn't always lock into where I want. So I'm just going to drag it. So it's like close. Now, when it's close, now I can actually fine tune it. So I get to move this and this, I want to go right to the center. So I'm going to need to zoom in even more so that it actually moves over here. And uh, you want to make sure that you have snapping vertex. Uh, you can turn it on uh, or you can just hold down control. So now it should snap to ver vertexes. So it snaps any of these vertices or there. So I want to snap right to the middle. And now we have a slight problem because we don't have an actual circle. We have a bunch of line segments. And so this end, depending on where you connect it to, so all the way out to here, it's 9.15, which is the correct radius measure. But if I uh, move it here, so that would be like the center of an edge, uh, you're going to see it's a little bit shorter. It's because we don't have a perfect circle. So what I'm going to do is make sure it goes to a vertex. Which vertex should I use? Uh, the original drawing had it about a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to put it right about there. And again, I went from one vertex to that center vertex with this marker. And then you can go ahead, do your other measurements. Uh, let's go. And I'm going to make this measurement, the other die. Well, let's do that 11 meter measure right there. So that's the center of this point. And I'm just going to get it close to where I want it. And then You do need to make sure you grab the cursor is going to change. Make sure you do grab the end because if you don't grab the end, you're actually going to create an angle and that's probably not what you want. Undo just deletes the entire thing. So be very careful. So again, I went from center and it should snap pretty nicely overall. So it gives you some pretty nice snapping. You do want to make sure this is actually horizontal. Um, the measurement should be uh, correct and matching what is on here. What we can't directly do, or at least right now we can't do is offset the measurement. So the 11 meters is fine, but if you look, this 5.5 meters is actually not labeled directly on the line here. It's pulled up a little bit. Uh, don't worry about that aspect. Just make sure it says 5.5. So again, I'll go from there to there, you can see the 5.5, etc, etc. So this is how you will dimension out your drawing with measure. And if you need to unclick you can go select box, but then again, all that's going to go away, but you click measure, it will all come back. Uh, this is independent of the geometry. So you do need to make sure that your geometry is set. Because if you go and move uh, your lines and vertices, 
the measurements won't change. They'll measure where your vertex or, or edge used to be, not where it moves to.